guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting for you to episodes 18 and 19 of March Comes in Lang Alliance. Let's go ahead and get started with episode 18 in 3, 2, 1, go. Yeah, it's off. Oh, we literally continue right where we left off. Oh god, mm -hmm. these two are about to argue again. Oh god. What is this Star Wars now? Is this Star Wars Jojo? Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. Hmm? 
Mm-hmm. Put it in the best words that you can, right? God, this stupid freaking brother. Oh my god, Jesus. Mm -hmm. But now, since you're with a group, you have to sometimes talk. Mm hmm. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Go on, don't be afraid. Imagine you fighting a high school student, Jesus Christ. Would you even get in trouble for fighting a high school student? Hmm? Do you want to study more or go on a walk or whatever? Maybe he wants you to explain more. Oh God, what the? Did you get any sleep? It doesn't look like you have though. Huh. It's, it's fine. You want some sugar? Are, are you The snow? Is it just... Okay. Okay, to you it's nothing, but to someone else it could be, you know, amazing. Yeah, there's something there. <laughs> Of course. Mm. So it just feels empty. Like something's missing.
coming in like a tidal wave. gonna be too much for you eventually. Mm -hmm. Next thing you know you're just gonna drown. But thank God you didn't. Not only that, yeah, it's something that you can't be swept away from. <coughs> Excuse me. But on different levels as well. I wish it would rain here, but no, it's cold and dry. How'd you do? <laughs> Is this supposed to be Mickey Mouse? With the Sophia. Yeah. But it was also because of you. If you had told him no, and Ray, if you didn't do anything, you would have repeated a grade, so be proud of yourself as well. Mm hmm. Be proud of those accomplishments. <laughs> I thought that too.
Oh, well, I clean and cook and I do my laundry. Exactly. Mm Mm-hmm. So once again, be proud about that. You did good. He's supposed to be. He's a teacher. Get you upset? Oh, Ray. Come on. You know what I want? I want some ramen. But he's gonna lose, isn't he, though? I mean, because that, but that's Yuki. And. Mm. No, could be anybody. Oh! You guy! Mama? Oh! Just some milk tea. Well, you can give Mama milk. Mm. Yeah, but you didn't even get it. Okay, well, you got something. But Kyoko ain't most of it. Oh, okay. Hina, do you want to talk about Kyoko? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, God. It's not his girlfriend. Of course he's okay. (laughs) Oh, Momo. Technically, but take out W and put B. She's usually that sometimes, not all the time, but she has her own problems as well. Honestly, she's a nice person. (laughs) Yeah, Momo. Hmm. 
<laughs> See, there's nothing to worry about. <laughs> oh, God. Rip Kitty. <laughs> oh, God. I'm guessing you haven't talked to Kyoko since. He lost to me. So no answer on that. But it, something tells me he ha he lost, didn't he? I mean, it would make the most sense. But I do kind of wish we got to see the match a little more. But I get it. You know, some matches aren't that important. But still, this seemed like a really big, important match to him. And it would have been better if we got to see it through his POV. Just how they did with Smith. Because still, that's kind of one of my other per personal favorite episodes of seeing as much as I love Ray, but seeing other characters and their hopes, their wants, their dreams, everything, anytime when they win a, win a match or lose a match, something is just a really nice treat to see for the show. There's something I want to talk about. I want to go back and talk a little more about Kyoko real quick, and especially the relationship between her and Ray, and how Akari, Hina, Momo are seeing it through their POV. There are times where in a relationship or brother sisters and when they fight and it's like that especially when you're looking at Ray and Kyoko Kyoko to me <clears throat> sometimes in the argument when they fight she walks all over Ray and you can see it on his face and they really showed it once again last week and showing it and also in this episode especially when you're looking at it through the POV of Hina, Akari, and Momo hence why you know Momo called <laughs> Kyoko a witch and I'm like, no, 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 take the W out and put a B. That's usually what she is, but it's okay because Kyoko has her reasons of why she's a witch with a B. But still, I, I'm i praying to God that we get an episode on her. We are almost done with the first half of this show. Not counting episode 19, I got three other episodes left before I'm done, and I think I'm going to put those all in one video. But, I, I mean... I need, need, N-E-E-D, need, freaking need an episode on her and just more on her situation because, like I said, there are times where, you know, she stays over Ray's house and then, because the last time when she did, she had a fight with her dad once again and then she technically went home and finally apologized to her dad. We ain't seen that, and I wanted to see that. I mean, yes, I get the fact is that, you know, because this kind of, kind of reminds me of how I felt. Like, you know when you're watching um, an adaptation of, of a book that's going to be a TV show or a movie, anime, whatever, 
and there's certain scenes that you're really really wanting to see because you know like 100 this isn't going to be called march comes in like a lion the book the anime this is an anime based off of a manga and such and they're not going to have every little single detail of this is that and the third of what truly happens about it and that's how like because i feel like that's important but i get the fact is they're like okay hey we don't really have the necessary time to put something in that you really truly want into this because to you it might be like the most freaking important thing in the um series but to us it might not be because that's like how i felt when i when i read the hunger games for the first time because when you're watching that movie and you read the book series and you're seeing like okay no that's not how she got this in the book it clearly states it's like this and such and i get the fact is like you can't put every little freaking thing that you want because i think if any animes uh anime movies um anything movies books whatever especially for a book if they decided to do the whole 360 something chapter book series into a one two hour movie trying to do everything imagine how long that would be that would literally be like a 12 hour movie and sometimes you don't have time for that so like i said with the kyoko situation hopefully either 19 to i think this this first season is to episode 20 22 i believe i'm not 100 percent sure i have to go back and look um, I'm hoping that, you know, the last three episodes, not counting 19 that I'm going to watch in a second, we do still get something on her. Because as much as I really want, like, because your girl wants to be on a fly on a wall because the last time we saw Kyoko, before the situation and the argument between her and Ray, dude ran off on her, left her by herself, and I was like, are we going to get something <laughs> next about this? Because the more and more we see her... And um, Goto, like, together, and the fact that he always leaves her and everything, because we do know a little bit more of that situation, but I, I really want to see it more in her POV. Because we've seen it technically in everybody else's standpoints, but with hers, I think it's going to make me connect with her a little bit more. Because I do like her, I do care for her as a character, because she seems very interested. And because of what Ray has told us about her and her backstory between the connection of her her dad her brother and ray and how her um i'm about to say brother how her father you know treated ray like the golden child because of the fact is he got all three kids into shogi but he spent time with shogi with ray the most while you know the other two didn't and you know how her youngest brother is in a depression and she you know takes her anger out on ray and such like that but yeah i just I really want to see it please could just give it to me please <laughs> that's all i want because i swear to god i mean your, your girl ain't gonna like you know go on netflix and be like yeah fuck, i want to look to see what happens next even though we were watching this on a weekly uh a bi-weekly um thing and everything but i really really want to know that's the biggest thing i do love what the fact that they did in this episode i love the fact that hina and momo went to ray is just to go talk to him and how hina's mission was let me find out who kyoko is to you because i need to know because yes it's so once again obvious that she has a crush on him even though they're not really saying anything yet it's there the way she looks at him the way how happy she is around him how she cares for him so freaking much and i'm like okay i'm like girl you just you cute little thing like because we've all been there and to see a character like that it's just like oh my god like you're just so cute and adorable even you know uh ray having the conversation with the sensei that was beautiful i i loved seeing him just like break down and be upset and you know having a sensei tell him you know even though you think you didn't do a lot, look at all the accomplishments that you've done up until now. Everything that you're currently doing. You, you're living on your own. You're paying your own bills. You're doing this, that, and the third. You're taking care of yourself. You're cooking your own meals. Sometimes, not all the times. Um, you're doing your laundry. You're cleaning. You're doing everything. So you are still out here making it and such. And I have to applaud that, you know, really. Because, yes, Ray feels like he doesn't, do a lot but he does he really truly does I'm, I'm about to get emotional over this kid but he's just so he's a 
adorable and I love him so much and I just want the best for him but this episode was just really good but go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 19. All right, episode 19 and three, two, one, go. Oh, okay. That's who's speaking. I was like, wait. Mm. So then who'd you play with? Yourself? Because if you only had yourself, what else could you do? It got boring. So cute. Mm -hmm. But show again. Mm -hmm. It was forever. Mm -hmm. Oh, those look so good. Mm, oh my god, apple sounds so good right now. Ah! Of course, because in a way, they're your friends, okay? It's just a completely different world and ball game. Mm-hmm. 
Did you bring him food? Aww. That was sweet. Are you still hungry though? Figured that. Mm -hmm. Oh, that looks so good. You would be focusing on nothing but that, right? I mean, Ray being here would be a distraction for you. Oh, God. <laughs> uh-huh. You need sleep to concentrate better. The title? really want to know what he thinks especially so hopefully they do an episode on him where he's like the POV 
because he's just he anytime I look at him I get chills like and the last time someone gave me chills is what's her face from Fruits Basket and I still hate her till this day anytime when like you just look at his eyes he just he's cold and just oozes just it scares me So please give me an episode on Soya. Mm. A bird. Okay, I get that, yeah. Yeah. Oh. God, he kind of looks like Yuki right there. Oh, are you okay? And you don't want to be a failure to them, right? Mm-hmm. <sighs> 
Mm. Don't be sorry. Yeah, you could go sightseeing. Mm, okay. <laughs> really? So then what does Soya do to like, you know, get his head in the game? Be nice, you know. Mm. Oh, I've still been a loner. And besides, this match is really important to him, not only to him, but to Saya himself, possibly. Are you okay? Well, yes, everyone really is there for Zoya at the end of the day. But, guys... Well, that's mean! Hmm. No, is it because of the fact that he's a pretty boy? Mm -mm. 
I know. I mean, he should also be worrying about himself, but... Oh, my God! Huh? Yeah, I figured we were talking about the kid. <laughs> <coughs> we're not going to see this outcome until next week, aren't we? Looks like he hasn't gotten any sleep. No, no. Oh my god. You would end right there. Yeah, SOB. Like, oh my god. And we gotta wait until the next week to see how this concludes. Something tells me that, yes, Kai possibly lost. I mean, he has a lot on his mind. And if he does lose, I think this is gonna really break him. Maybe. I don't know how this outcome is gonna go next week. I wanna know so bad. Like, oh my god. I think the last time I've been this excited was like freaking Penguin Jump or any other series that I've watched where I'm like, I need to know what the heck is gonna happen next. But like, I hope he, he doesn't lose. I and mean, he has a lot on the line. A lot of people cheering for him. But for... <clears throat> What's his face? I mean, he's just <sighs> like I said. He he reminds me very much of Yuki. Not only of the fact that he he gives me those cold feels, with also you know the bitch, that bitch of Fruits Basket. You know who the freak I'm talking about. If you don't know, watch Fruits Basket. Mm, Cause I I hate her so much. But I think also, Sayo, he has his own regimen, um, things that he does to get himself ready. So I also kind of wish we got to see his POV, but I'm guessing next week when we see Kyoko part, Kyoto part two, I think a lot of things are going to foretold and come, and that's when we're going to see maybe Kai in a different light. He might be depressed about this. I don't know. Even having, like, Smith there. I mean, out of all the people, Smith being on the phone talking about cats. And how his cat was in it and laughing and everything. That was so freaking adorable. But the fact is, he's so upset about it. They decided to go out and drink some booze. Like, you know, to cry your sorrows and it's like that. Like, mm -hmm, like, oh, you're not giving this to me? Okay, well, I'm going to go and drink my sorrows out. Because <laughs> oh, oh my god. I just want to see more episodes of him and his cat. <laughs> but this both episodes were good really on the emotional standpoint for what <clears throat> has happened I don't know how this match is going to go but like I feel like 
at the end of episode 18, we've technically gotten to see how um, the outcome is possibly going to be, like, as much as I want Kai to win this, because a lot is riding on him um, to win this and to continue on, but I feel like just he might lose, and it might break him. I mean, we've seen in the past, like, what it's done for people when they lose because it, it's like the end of the world it's an end of the era for them because it's everything for them there there are people who especially with their whatever they do for their profession whether it's an actor an actress um a singer anybody in the entertainment business anybody in like any freaking sport when you know your craft and when there is that someone, that new shiny toy, you know, figure, everyone, the thing that someone is obsessed with and they come and destroy you in a match, a game, whatever, you feel like your whole world is over. How do you pick up the pieces and start over again? And we've seen that a little bit with some characters, but I feel like Kai is going to be that one character who, if he does lose... This is really going to break him. He might not want to, you know, help Ray or his brother or um, what's his face again. He might want to just stop the um, the tutor sessions and stuff like that after that. He may just want to be depressed for the rest of the series. I don't know. I mean, these are just little guesses that I'm making. But because of the fact is, you know, every single time he has a match, his stomach bothers him and he's sick. It, to the point where, like, I, I, I don't know. I've seen, like, from other things that I've seen, acting um sports anything and how some people will get physically ill before a match and then they're sick and it gets worse during a match and then they're even more sick after a match and to the point where sometimes yes they have to go to the hospital because it's that bad and sometimes you know their body is attacking themselves and that's what it seems like is happening to Kai because it, it's like it's a regimen for him because it happens every single time and I'm really worried for him because I don't want anything to happen to him he's a very interesting character he's like another not not really a father figure to Ray more like an older brother and the way he's not only taking care of him but um Nakaido and what's his face and such in the way how he's always there for teachings and he does care for them like they're his own kids but I think it's just not, the outcome isn't going to be good. And I hate the fact that I have these feelings because I'm scared and I don't want anything to happen to him. I don't want it to be like next week for the final three episodes of season one. Somebody gets killed or de there's a really bad death to the point it's going to shake Ray off of his game and such because we haven't seen Ray, you know, play in a while because of course he lost and so and it's like that. But I don't know. I mean, next week I think might surprise me a lot i i have no freaking clue and i'm not really gonna know until i watch it but other than that guys that was my reaction view towards episodes 19 and 20 of march comes in like a lion if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially y'all next friday for patreons and next monday for everybody else for the final three episodes of season one before we start freaking season two or really the second half of this show but honestly I cannot wait to see what the hell is going to happen next, but until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!